Hello and welcome to the 12 steps to Navier Stokes originally taught by Lorena Baba. In this case we are looking at step 10 and I did manage to find some old um, HTML files so I could, could display the content from Lorena Baba uh, correctly. Uh, as I told you in the last step I did have some issues with the equations are not being displayed the way they should be. So we will refer to this older version of um, the IPython notebook. So the problem with um, we're looking at now is uh, that there is no obvious way to couple pressure and uh, velocity. And um, this problem is stated right here. So your first equation representing the mass conservation at constant density. Uh, density. The second equation is the conservation of momentum. The problem is that uh, for incompressible flow, um, there's no dominant variable, and so there's no obvious way to um, to solve it. And also, there's uh, no way to couple the velocity and the pressure. In case of compressible flow, uh, instead you had uh, you have um, a coupling term between the density and the pressure. All right. Um, now the the Poisson equation is just like the Laplace equation, but um, it is not zero. So it is uh, a constant term. And this, this, this constant term is affecting the, the solution. And the surface you get, you're getting from uh, this, La, uh, this Laplace or Poisson equation is kind of relaxing those mm, this, um, initial sources of the, in the field. All right, it looks in discretized form almost exactly like uh, step 9, um, but it has this uh, source term. Alright, but we will do that just um, as last time from the ground up, just in order to show how uh, you built such a program in MATLAB. Okay, we have a step 10 and variable declaration <coughs> as, a, as a first step. Clear all nx equals 100 and I can cast that with semicolons and y equals 100 and nt equals 100. We have an x man, a min, minimum value for x and we have an x max. Zero and two and also for y we have min equals 0 and max equals 1. So dx equals x max minus minus x min divided by nx minus 1. And the same for dy equals y max minus y min divided by and y minus one. All right, now let's initialize our variables. P equals zeros and x comma and y. And the same thing for all the others. Let's just copy that. Okay, we have uh, PD. We have B and we have X and we have Y. Wait a minute, X and Y are actually not zeros, as they don't belong to the solution, but are vectors. So um, P, B, D, P, D, and B are initialized with zeros, and X equals X min with step size DX to X max. So it's a vector like in the step line. And uh, Y equals Y min step size dy to y max. All right. Now the source term. With 
the source term we will use a uh, floor function so b from floor nx divided by 4 floor ny divided by 4 equals 100 and b floor 3 times nx divided by 4 comma floor 3 times ny divided by 4 equals minus 100 I forgot the bracket here maybe we just uh, see if we could um, plot B for a moment not sure if that works with the surf comments no but Line 22, there's this problem. Ah, okay. Forgot the bracket here. 3 times an x divided by 4. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, alright. So you can see that we have this floor surface means that every uh, value is here 0, but um, the values on the, on the described points are um, 100 or minus 100 and as you can see this is very steep here so you have a high um, difference between this point and all the other points and you will see in a moment what um, the Poisson equation does so for um, in this case nt equals 1 to nt PD equals P, so same story with the container, 4, 4, and end, and here we can say I equals 2 to NX minus 1, so in this case the I direction, and J equals 2 to NY minus 1. Okay, and now we will do uh, the real calculation, P, I, comma, J equals pd i plus 1 comma j plus pd i minus 1 comma j closing it times dy squared plus pd i comma j minus 1 plus pd I comma j plus one closing it haha forgot one okay closed it and this the uh, multiplicated with dx squared now the so source term minus b ij times dx squared times the y squared closing the whole thing divided by the x squared times the y squared divided by 2 all right that's about it and let me see yeah we have to um, take care of the the edges again so p of 2 to nx minus 1 comma 1 equals p um, 2 to nx minus 1 comma 2 so in simple words the first column equals the second column and p 2 to nx minus 1 
comma ny equals p two two and x minus one comma and y minus one. The last column equals the one before the last column. And then we are done. At the end we want to plot self x y b and I think we're done. Let's see what it does. Okay. Maybe I closed the wrong. Or it's just iterating. Could be that it's just not iterating. Well, I expected something more smoothy than that. Ah, okay. <laughs> I should not plot the source term, but the actual solution. All right, second try. This doesn't look... Um, more with any more sense then let's see if I forgot something hmm this is not a multiplication of the derivatives, but a summation. That could be the problem. All right. Now you see what we expected. A more smoothy um, surface around uh, the extreme values. And that's it for the Poisson equation. Thanks you for, uh, thank you for watching and 